several of our speakers have come to HeartSpark before and they've been through some of your programming. So can you tell me a little bit about HeartSpark and what you guys do here? Sure. In addition to our focus on, on happiness, all of our programs are based in positive psychology. So it's that's where the art and science of thriving comes. Um, we have a program series called the Ignition Series, and in that we help you uncover your natural patterns of success. So those thoughts and behaviors that are present in every successful moment that you may not be aware of. And then once you identify those and get very clear on what you want as opposed to what you don't want, which is, <laughs> you usually know much better. It's really easy to focus on that part. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So getting clear on how you want to feel, what you want right now, whether it be in your work or your personal life, as well as what gives you a greater sense of uh, meaning and purpose. And then when those all kind of come together, you can actually, what we refer to as relax into success by simply being yourself. One of the things that I notice over and I'm talking to women about KISS is that they're struggling with who they are mm -hmm. and what's really important to them first um, before they go for their goals. So what you're talking about is kind of starting on the inside and then naturally going into it versus forcing something that just doesn't click. And, and our groups are, our classes are always in small groups, no more than 10, which is another part of that sisterhood thing. Yeah. So when you're talking about, you know, really within is uh, your, your friends, your support group, your network also can remind you of who you really are yeah. when you tend to forget. Many of the things that we normally kind of at first blush think will make us happy aren't the ones that actually do. And, and then what can we choose? And, and the whole breadth of different activities based on who we are and, and what appeals to you or not in terms of being able to up that level. So, but it's like dieting or fitness or anything else, it's, it's, you have to be committed to it. <laughs> you have to work at it. Yeah, yeah, and, and even acknowledging that happiness is a strategic goal that's, that's meaty and worthwhile as opposed to some just kind of fluff thing that either it happens or it doesn't. <laughs>